I was able to send the report back to the Order via my old acquaintance, Andrew the Blacksmith. At least Miller will know that I am alive, that I haven't completed the mission, but haven't resigned from it either. Hey guys, welcome back to Flying Dutchman Videos. Uh, this is my Let's Play of Metro Last Light. Um, by this time we're deep in the metro, we've uh, made it out of uh, captivity at the communist station and uh, pretty much escaped. Uh, however, we seem to have gotten into a bit of trouble with uh, a guy wielding a very big <laughs> minigun. However, he turned out to be uh, Andrew the Blacksmith, our buddy from the last game who got us, uh, I think, out of the... F was it the fascist or another communist station back then by smuggling us out uh, in a rail car? But seems we've uh, just hit it. A bit of luck. That's one serious pickle you're in. But I can help. I have friends, and they have friends who can relay everything you tell me to your guys from the Order. So, now you must return home to Polis? Well, there's no direct route. Everything's cordoned off here. But I believe the Order has an outpost nearby. On the surface. The church and the marshes. Try that place. If we can get word to your people. They might meet you there. As for me, I started life anew. Left Kuznetsky most. Seems like a completely Seems like a step up from a station, dude. <laughs> Mold everywhere. Camps or just shooting them. All because of the coming war. Oh, uh, people are fleeing from Kuznetsky. Grow installation here. I bet that guy sells a lot of weed in here. Did you see the armor train the Reds are building? Well, we built something too. With the stuff the refugees are bringing. Here, take a look. Ah, oh, hell yes. <laughs> the boys even gave her a name. You can't help but fall in love with her. She did a swell job running refugees. But hell, you can't save everyone. So, take Let's quickly check some stuff around here and too. see if we're not you missing anything. Find Woodpecker and tell him where you left our baby. Climb aboard. Let's go. All right, start the engine. We're still tinkering with her, so the controls aren't. Who's perfect. a weed? There's nobody else here. The are first class. <laughs> no need to fear the spider bugs around her, and there's a lot of those in the far tunnels. You should go. It's a long way. So you shouldn't waste any time. Let's go. Awesome ass. There's actually a couple of tunnels around here you can uh, you could check out. There's a couple of uh, extra items in there. I don't know if the spider bugs or the uh, watchmen or whatever count towards the stealth goal or at least the not killing anyone goal. I ended up just killing him, but I don't know if that's actually allowed, so make of that what you will, but I didn't run away at least. Because I, 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 I imagine that if you're not killing anything, this part becomes very hard, as we'll see in just a few minutes, but... Yeah, that's our first sign that uh, this is not going to be an easy ride. Or at least it's easier than if you were just to take the... Uh, do it on foot, but still. Yeah. <laughs> if you're afraid of spiders, I suggest you go fast forward through this. Take your phases through, burn the shit out of this. Luckily, we now have a bit more than just the uh, cobbled together SMG and what have you. But <sighs> what the 
fuck out of here. <sighs> One thing though is that these guys can actually just climb on the ceiling and what have you, so... Stay the hell alert, because otherwise they'll get the jump on you, and that's not pleasant in here. It's also a bit uh, of a maze, so... Keep track of where you came from. That's what I talked about, the guys, actually, yeah. Make sure to keep your flashlight charged because if that runs out. Same thing goes as uh, when we first met these guys. Keep your flashlight trained on them and they'll uh, eventually roll over and you can shoot them. And this is where we need to go to take care of these guys by turning on the lights. Burn, fuckers. Oh, noise. Don't know how useful choke extension is for a shotgun but especially one that has only one shot in it anyway and there's a pistol so there's a couple of these uh, nests along the way you can uh, take care of I don't know what that does on the grand scheme of things but some equipped nice uh, loot you can get out of it this is actually the shorter one but Big fuckers. It's a good thing we have these lights because we're definitely in the uh, spider bug territory now. Guess why? Guess this is why the Reds had that big ass train, because it's the only way to be really safe in here. Let's uh, turn on the lights here. Well, at least it's something. AK or bastard. It's actually not too bad, but I still I guess I'll go with the AK. Seems more accurate when we need it. But oh shit. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> this is this seems like some a place perfect for a little spider bug uh, spider bug ambush, but hope not. Oh, you ugly fucker. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, 
Oh, damn it. You ugly fucker. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> Guys are ugly any range. Up <laughs> close and afar. I was half expecting that, but I'm, I'm assuming it's script, but, but still, wow. I prefer it not to uh, have to take another close look at one of those ugly fuckers, but... <coughs> this being a metro game, I, I assume it's gonna happen whether or not we want it. Probably the first part in any of the Metro games that has really gotten on my nerves. Like it's it's not scary, but it's really suspenseful because it does play with your expectation that there's going to be a spider bug right around the right around the corner. Okay, it seems like we're going to need some of our uh, little secondary toys here. Let's see, uh, secondary C. Okay, here we go. Burn. Fucking eight legged assholes. Oh. Is that the sound they make or is that. What the hell is that? How are you not dead? I think I just shot his face off. <laughs> God damn it, will you just fucking flip over? These guys are really tough. I guess like there's shields or whatever it is hardens with age or something. Because when they come right out of the uh, right out of the uh, the egg sack or whatever it is, they seem to be more vulnerable. Oh damn! I don't like that sound. At all. See? I didn't see you, asshole. Come on. And there we go. There we go. See some of our trouble is gone. As I said, I really don't know what this does for your, uh, for whatever ending you're gonna get. But I assume since the the flashes are there every time, I, I think it does something at least.
dokey. What's that? Um, press the switch. Nope. Don't forget to put your mask on. The uh, wooden barricade up ahead is actually uh, breakable, so... Give it some juice. And break through. Get yourself some... A uh, couple of resources here. Don't linger too long in these areas because uh, you're still running out of uh, filter time. Hmm. Let's use that for a bit. So we might have to keep some assholes off our uh, rail car. Okie dokie. I guess that's most of it. Just put it in reverse back up to the, uh, the switch and shoot it again. That's that. Hmm, doesn't seem like there's anything in here, so let's keep moving. works. Oh, you still check it out. It's not really <laughs> comfortable with those, uh, that howl we just heard. Figure that was coming. Well, at least we can stock up on another fire grenade and get ourselves a nice couple of uh, military grade bullets there for our troubles. Wow. <laughs> Ugly assholes. As I said, be, uh, be mindful of your filter time though. So. You don't necessarily have to go through these side areas, but as I said, it does count towards your uh, completion achievement, or whatever it's called. Figure we're best off using the shotgun here. Even though it doesn't seem to be as powerful as the, uh, the duplet. You really do have to, do have to get Headshots with this. And that's the warning. So swap filters. Strange though, it doesn't actually tell you how many filters you have left. Good sunlight. I guess we're uh, close to the surface now. But yeah, as I said, it doesn't seem to tell you how many filters you have left. I don't know if that's a bug or something, but. Seems like you would want that, at least on normal. I can imagine it not being like that on on, uh, on ranger mode. Another thing, you can't shoot the padlocks. Like It may look like you can, but you can't, so don't waste bullets on those. Hmm. 
Yeah, that seems like a fair trade. Alright, oh, shotgun with actual mag capacity here. Like we had at the beginning of the bloody game. Uh, apparently, if you have the uh, deluxe edition, you do get uh, the, um, the AK-47U, or whatever it's called in this game. Even though they, like, apparently they want to make it as hard as possible on you, but you do get that at the start of the game, or at least at some point in the game. I was wondering why that didn't show up on my normal uh, playthrough. But. This part you'll be mainly concerned with uh, keeping the guys off your back. Eyes open because you might always come up past areas like this. Oh boy. <laughs> Game is not really subtle in telling you there's uh, stuff about to happen though. Damn it. <laughs> Very nice, this. Okay, let's see. Get whatever it was we came here for and get the hell out of Dodge. Okay, and just as soon as it hit us, it is gone. Weird. Yeah, make sure you, at least, that's how I play, make sure you always have at least one, uh, one silenced weapon on you. Yeah, valve here is useful for, uh, Sticking it to your enemies at long range was especially useful in here because you shoot the watchmen on a long time before they actually uh, climb onto your car. They do announce their presence though. So. Mm -hmm. Again, the game is not very subtle about notifying you you're about to get jumped. Might be a tendency for you to actually like just use spray and pray tactics with the uh the revolver shotgun, but like in the end, it still only has six rounds, and you don't have 
that much ammo on you, realistically speaking. So, okay, what the hell are we here to get? Oh, here we go. There's actually some kit here. Okie dokie. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Don't want to stick around here much longer. Of course, you can wonder if like it's worth expanding all that ammo for what you're getting out of that, but still, it does. All of these areas do count towards uh, getting one of the endings. Didn't, didn't seem so wise in retrospect. 